Mindy Show on Kids Place Live. Tori, I gotta tell you, I am a little sleepy today. Why are you so sleepy? So, we've been, every now and then, we've been having, like, campouts in each other's bedrooms this summer. And Indoor uh, camping? Yeah, indoor camping. Although, half of our family was outdoors for this one. So, absolutely Mr. and Rhett decided to sleep in the not yet finished tree house last night that I'll tell you more about it later. And I did this parenting thing where Rhett said, can I sleep in the tree house tonight? And I said, sure, great, go ahead. And then absolutely Mr. was like, are you sure? Like it's going to get cold. There's foxes in the neighborhood. I'm like, it's fine. He'll, he'll, he'll be back before, you know, just agree to it and then let him realize that that was a bad idea. Next thing I know, he swindled absolutely Mr. to sleep out there with him, okay? Now, there is, there's shelter over their heads. There's a tin roof on this, that that's done, but the walls aren't finished, and, you know, they're pretty exposed to the the open air, but the weather, just maybe there was like a little drizzle last night, and so Birdie said, yes, we get to have a sleepover tonight, and I was like, great, I'm tired, let's just you know, we'll sleep in my bed tonight. And she said, no, then, you know, it'll be like normal for you. Let's sleep in Rhett's bed. So Bernie <laughs> and I slept in Rhett's bed last night. Rhett and, and absolutely Mr. are out in the treehouse. Bernie and I are sleeping in Rhett's bed. And I had, the, I might as well have just slept on a plank in the treehouse last night, oh. judging by the quality of sleep I got. So all night long, that hedgehog, Rhett's ha- Hedgehog Band-Aid, for anyone who's looking to get a hedgehog for a pet, they are very nocturnal. So this thing was having a workout, like an all-night workout <laughs> on its little hamster wheel thing, just working it out. And then I finally fall back asleep, and then Birdie bursts up. I realized she was talking in her sleep, and she said, Oh, I, uh, Mama! I'm having a dream right now that that branch finally (laughs) fell out of the tree. We were cutting some dead branches off a tree, but the one we couldn't get to come down. But we finally got that branch down from the tree, and Papa just had to ram his car into the tree. And she's like, I'm (gasps) I'm having the dream right now. (laughs) Like, she was in the middle, and she was talking so loud, so alert. But she was somehow aware that she was dreaming, and she knew I was there, but she was, compl- I was like, Birdie, Birdie, she didn't hear me talking back to her. It was all huh. in her dream. Oh. Huh. So, yeah, that I did not have a great night of sleep last night, but I had, do have an update on the treehouse. Wait, before you go on, so did Rhett and Absolutely Mr. stay out there all night long, or did they give up and came inside? Whole night long. They stayed Whoa. out there the entire night. Rhett swears up and down he had a great night of sleep. Absolutely, Mr. Uh, said he maybe got 30 minutes throughout the entire night. <laughs> he was awake th- through a lot of it. But they were all bundled up there. I was up before they were. Hmm, so wow. They, they, they slept out there all night long. So now Birdie and I are going to have to do it, but we're going to wait till there's like a little bit more, you know, the walls are completely finished and everything. So here's where we stand on the treehouse, and I, I promise you I will post a picture because I keep forgetting, but uh, we've got the whole base done, and now we have two of the three walls, we have the tin roof on top, and I have painted some of it. What colors are we going for? What's the look? So the tree, it's, it's more of like a, we keep calling it a tree house, but we realize the style of it is a little bit more like a cabana. So we have, um, it's going to be white on the outside, white on the inside, except for the back wall is uh, like a mint green or a mint blue color. Fun. And then, yeah. And then there's like a, you know, a natural stain on the, the platform, the, the deck of it. Question. Yeah. Will this... Treehouse, clubhouse, cabana have furniture. Yes. So that's the next thing. It'll have probably um, like a low table. And Although it's tall enough, I can stand in it. There's like plenty of clearance in this treehouse. It's got a pointy roof on top, but even on the sides, I can still stand. It's still taller than I am. Um, it will. So I think we're going to do like a low table and then 
we want it to be cozy inside, like to go in there and read books. So we're going to have some, probably some big outdoor pillows to sit on, mm. I think, or some bean bags or something. Maybe bean bags. We want something that can handle any weather that might get in there. And then on the little deck of it, we're going to have probably two low little chairs. So that's the next thing is start planning what's going to go inside of it. May I suggest what yeah. I, when, you know, when I was Rhett and Birdie's age, what I would have wanted in this clubhouse, inflatable furniture. Oh, wow. Because then you, you're not, if it rains, whatever. Maybe, yeah. and you can even deflate it if you need more room. Maybe you're having a dance party or a bunch of people over. Uh, of course, this is not during stay-at-home orders, yada, yada, yada. You could deflate the furniture, and you have so much more room for activities. Oh, that's a great idea. The other thing we're trying to figure out is how to add light to it without, you know, having to run a electricity all throughout the perimeter of the yard to get in there but we were thinking that we could do some solar panels that's what i was just gonna say to get some light in there so if any grown-ups know anything about this any solar lights or if you've got a tree house or have any tips or things that you've done or wish you had done differently or whatever let us know you can write in on our absolutely mindy post show parent club group on facebook but I know, I know you're saying, if I were Rhett and Bertie, this, this treehouse is as much for me and absolutely Mr. as it is for them. This is, I we're bet. doing this knowing that someday they're going to grow up and out, and I want a little clubhouse of my own. So it's really fun. It's coming together. It's been a fun, fun little quarantine project to work on. All right, when we come back, I have got a story of two faces, one head. Did that, did that pique your interest? Two faces, one head? Two faces, one head. I'll explain everything in just a few minutes. Have you ever had?